Today, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be giving you the full rundown of Carolina Herrera's bad boy, Cobalt Elixir. Yes, this is a big bottle. What are my thoughts on this fragrance? Stay tuned. You're going to find out. <laughs> What is good YouTube? Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my channel. My name is Mikey Cologne and thank you very much for tuning in today. Thank you for stopping by. Come in, put your feet up, chill out for 10. I won't take up too much of your time. That is right, today I'm going to give you a rundown of Bad Boy Cobalt Elixir. This is a 150ml bowl. I've probably worn about 10 mil of juice, so I've given it some good wearings. And I'm going to start this review by saying that there's a lot of Elixir fragrances out. I think the first one started with Dior Sauvage Elixir and then everybody jumped on the bandwagon. And I don't blame them, but at this stage, it's got a little bit out of hand. And to me, an Elixir should be something a little bit special. Something that has some depth to it, a little bit complex lasts and i know elixir is not a concentration because bad boy cold bolt elixir is other perform concentration but it being elixir you'd expect it to be like i say just a little bit special now i'm going to read you the notes and then i'm going to get into the fragrance but let me just show you quickly the atomizer right on the normal bad boy cold bolt the smaller bottles, I think the 50s and the 100mls have the atomizer on the top where you push down. This is a 150ml bottle and it has a normal atomizer on the top. Not bad atomizer. I do enjoy this fragrance, but right. You've got sage, black pepper, black truffle, vanilla, resinous woods and olibanum, which is frankincense so the normal cold bolt i believe has plum in it i haven't worn that one much yet because i've been testing out the elixir but i believe it's got plum in it so you get this fruity quality i do get a fruity quality from bad boy cold bolt elixir especially in the opening to me it opens a little bit spicy a touch aromatic and fruity with some sweetness now, after a few minutes, I get a very light, earthy quality that comes out in this fragrance, which to me is the black truffle, but it is light. It's not full on in your face. Sometimes you probably won't even notice that it's there. It is that light, but I do get an earthy facet in this fragrance. When this is happening, you get quite a lot of vanilla. Now, as it starts to settle in, this light woodsy undertone comes through. The more this settles, the woodsier it goes on my skin. It gains some musky edges. The vanilla turns up. The sweetness starts to level out a little bit. Like, this is not a sickly sweet fragrance. I would say it's semi-sweet. But up top with that fruity quality that I do get, it's quite sweet dries down, that fruity quality starts to fade out after about five minutes, that's when the woods turn up, the vanilla is full throttle, and some musk comes in, in the base. That is this fragrance in a nutshell. Now, a little bit disappointed, definitely, and the performance, I'm not going to sit here and lie to you. Some people... I've done reviews before where I've said a fragrance only lasts five or six hours on me and someone's commented and say, you don't know what you're talking about. I get nine or ten hours. People's skins are different. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you and tell you that fragrance lasts ten hours when, it, when I know for a fact it doesn't. 
because that's not fair on you and I don't agree in lying. I keep things straight down the middle. Be honest, tell the truth. And I know this is not my job, but my job reviewing fragrances is to tell you lot the truth. So, disappointed that there's not much depth to this fragrance. To me, it's a simple fragrance. I do like the way it smells. But the longevity is terrible. I mean, it really is bad. Well, it's below moderate. I'm getting four to five hours out of Cobalt Elixir. And then by the fifth hour, it is a very faint skin scent. And I've probably worn this now on and off. I don't know, since I got it. So I've given it some good wearings. I've worn it in the morning, in the afternoon. I've worn it to bed the next day, the next day. So I've tested it out. I've not just given it one wear and it's five hours, it's gone, no. Consistently, faint skin scent, five hours. It does last longer on clothes. The projection at first is moderate and then it starts to rain in after about 45 minutes. So I'm disappointed with it. This to me doesn't deserve the title of an elixir. That's my own personal opinion. Like I say, you would think with an elixir, it would be something a little bit special, something that hasn't been done before, something that lasts, something with layers, depth. This doesn't really have any of them things apart from the scent is nice. So I'm not bashing the overall scent profile, but everything else that comes with it, I think it sucks, basically. So I would say... Grab it on discounters if you can. I don't think it's worth purchasing it for retail because if you're expecting this fragrance to last you because it being elixir, some people do. They think, oh, it's an elixir. It's going to be dense, rich, heavy. It's going to last seven, eight, nine, ten hours. Some people think that way. And I'm not knocking them people because not everybody knows about fragrances. Your average Joe Blow doesn't follow fragrances they don't know so they just hear the word elixir and they're like yes for you people watching this who don't really know about fragrances i would say save your money and wait for discounters there you go that is my full review of carolina herrera bad boy cobalt elixir i have over sprayed it I could go on about this fragrance, about how disappointed I am about it, to be honest with you. It seems at first, when the elixirs started coming out, that they were a little bit special. But as, time's gone, as time has gone by, the elixirs just seem to be like a normal fragrance. And now this one, to me, is below par. Performance-wise, same profile nice, not knocking it. I'd love to hear your thoughts if you have tried the elixir. What do you think about it? I'm going to say it again. I'm not bashing the overall scent profile because I think it is an attractive fragrance. Quickly, where to wear this? It'd be nice when you're a little bit dressed up. I think you could rock it on a date night, going out for drinks, maybe to a party. That fruity quality up top, I know it dissipates up like early on, but it does give it a little bit of a playful vibe. Anyway, thank you very much for your support. And remember, smelling good's always a pleasure and never a chore. And I will see you lot on the next one. Cheers.